First at five, a fire in Mathis tonight, destroying two buildings, including an entire home in a rural part of town. Multiple fire crews responded, and when they arrived, the buildings were completely in flames. Our Brandon Schaff is going to join us live tonight from Mathis. And Brandon, what are investigators telling you about the fire? Hey, good evening, Leslie and Mike, and we are here in Mathis in that rural neighborhood that you were just talking about. Right behind me, a house that was once a home, now barely recognizable, and the fire actually, as soon as this home was engulfed, spreading to the next house next to it. But fortunately, fire crews were able to stop those flames from spreading. Now, the Mathis Volunteer Fire Department says that no one was injured today, which is very good news considering how much damage there was to these buildings. Both structures fully on fire, taking at least an hour to put out and one structure is the house that was originally on fire the other a shed belonging to the neighbor's home and Mathis volunteer fire department chief Adrian Ramirez saying that the assisting fire departments helped to get this situation under control here and we had a total of seven departments out here helping this out um, when we have fires in the rural area the most important thing for us to get help from is one manpower and two water supply because there are no for fire hydrants in the area. Ramirez said that six water tankers Ramirez said that six water tankers came to help carrying thousands of gallons of water and the San Patricio County Fire Marshal says that an investigation into the cause will begin after the fire crews all clear out, which they have so far. And so as you can see right now, the fire marshal is actually, at least their car is right there. And this will be the scene of that investigation. The fire marshal saying to me on the scene today that there is at least one woman that is in custody with the San Patricio County Sheriff's Office. And so we'll have more on the investigation into that, you potentially some motives and whether, you know, this will ultimately be a suspect in the investigation. But for now, here in Mathis, Brandon Jeff, 3 News. All right, Brandon, thanks for that. And of course,